Hey there, my name is Lexi, and thank you so much for joining me for the hot take. Today's hot take comes from one of my followers. His name is Ike Remixed underscore Unplugged. And during the recording of the hot take for why the City Girls album sales were so low, he posed a very interesting question, and I want to get into it on the hot take just a little bit. He asked the question, should artists not be personally accountable beyond themselves? What is an artist's job? And then he goes on, because I gave the example, I basically said that the city girls flopped, right? Because they've been talking about the same thing for the past five years, but the connection with their music and their personal lives has not added up like it hasn't been a mirror of one another and I said that the reason why the sales are low is because they have not evolved past what they first started rapping about and when you rap about certain things but you live a different lifestyle you lose credibility with your audience I don't know like their core fan base should have sustained these sales but this is showing that they only have six to 8,000 fans who will go out and buy the music. But it, I mean, and it's not all their fault, right? Because of course, streaming has dramatically changed how we interact with music, how we purchase music. So it's not fair to say that they don't have fans. It's just that streaming has made it to where people don't want to pay per album anymore. Why would I pay $20 per album when I can just pay $10 a month for access to billions of songs, right? So that's the conversation. And then, I mean, there's also, he gave the example of Beyonce doing the single lady song when she was married to Jay-Z. That is another good example. It hurts a little bit because I love Beyonce, but that's a fair example. Beyonce talking about single ladies when she'd been married to Jay-Z for how many years at that point, Right. He also said, like, real, consider Michael Jackson, Whitney, Prince, Bob Marley, even Madonna, Rihanna. They are prized for being great artists and people. But with that, their commitment to their crafts. Mm, I don't know what your finishing thought was going to be on that, but I would say so think about the type of artists that. Michael Jackson, Whitney Houston, Prince, Bob Marley, Rihanna, Madonna. I don't have much experience with Madonna's music, but think about the type of artists those people are, were. The type of artists that they are, they're not, well, except for Rihanna, she became super sexualized after a while, but um, not in a thought way. You know, not in a thought way. And then there's the baddie culture, but she wasn't like IG baddie. She was like boss without being the woke type of boss, boss girl. You know what I'm saying? But what do these people have in common is the storyline of their music is something that we can all relate to and something that whether they've been through that particular situation in that song or not they can relate or they may have gone through it at some point in their lives. When it comes to music, right? It's not like we're always going through the same thing all the time. Everybody has their their phases. Everybody has the motions that they're going through, right? Everyone has their patterns or whatever, the ups and downs. But how are we relating to one another? The type of music that Michael Jackson, Whitney, Prince, Bob Marley made, they were either speaking on experiences that we've all gone through or they were being a voice and time stamping what was going on around them, but in an artistic way, in a creative way. And that's what made the music great. These artists today, they're not doing that. It's all about the bottom line, which is earning some kind of dollar which is, you know, inciting some kind of shock value to bring traffic. But the problem with bringing traffic is no one's stopping at the store to buy anything. <laughs> you got a lot of people driving by, 
No one's coming in the store to buy anything. That's the problem with the mentality in the industry right now, in my opinion. So then we ask the question, well, what is the artist's job? And I don't think the artist's job, the artist's job is not to, it's not to push a narrative. The artist is supposed to be authentic. The artist is supposed to be real, genuine, sincere, you know, as many different variations as I can give of having integrity, basically. The reason why the sales are so low is because integrity is gone. And, you know, you might ask the question, well, how much responsibility does an artist have to their audience? Like, shouldn't it just be their job to entertain us and have a good time? Well, yeah, but you can't ignore the purpose of art. Before I Google this, because I just reached for my keyboard just now. In my opinion, in my mind, the purpose of art is to put into musical form what we all feel, what we all go through. And we are connected through the experiences that we go through collectively, individually, through different eras. It's, it's a voice for that. It's a feeling for that, but put into a musical form. That's what art is. So it's influenced by the individual. It's influenced by what the person sees and it's influenced by what's going on in the community. Well, it's influenced by what's going on in the individual level, what's going on in that household, what's going on in that community, what's going on in that nation, what's going on in the world. And I think the mark of a great artist is being able to take in everything that's going on outside of themselves and put it into a format that people understand the message and they feel, they feel what you were trying to get at. They feel how you feel. They can relate to the feeling. We don't have relatable music anymore. Like not everybody is at the club drinking, smoking, Not everyone's doing Molly. Not everyone's doing Percocet. Not everyone is twerking every single night or every weekend at the, like, not everybody's using a man for money. Not everybody is going through women. You know what I mean? So while there is a time and a place for certain music that can't be all that you are as an artist, it can't be all that you are as an artist. We are multifaceted people. We have our times when we want to turn up. We have our times when we want to curl up and not be bothered by anybody. The music has to reflect all of the experience, not just one aspect of it. And I think that's why music has felt so soulless because the industry has been so focused on the bottom line instead of the purpose of the art. You don't have to do too much to sell good music because it speaks to itself. The, all, of, all the initial work is going to be into bringing it to people's awareness, right? But once people are aware of the artist and they view the art, they experience the art, that's what should convert them to fans. People aren't converting to fans because artists ain't on their job. And an artist's job is to be the voice, is to be the communication. So when an artist loses sight of the fact that you are a representative, that's when you're not on your job. You're pushing a narrative, but you don't live what your music talks about. You're not an artist. You're an entertainer, maybe. You might even be an industry plant. You're not an artist. You're just filling someone's mold to push someone else's narrative and to collect a check. In a lot of ways, an artist doesn't have to be signed to anyone. An artist just has to create and interpret what they're seeing and what they're going through and what they're feeling. 
And odds are there's hella people out there who are going through the same things as you. That's why the art resonates. But true artists, they want impact. Of course, we all want to make the money, but art is a reflection. Art is a reflection, and yet we got smoke and mirrors. So nobody is seeing the truth. Miss Entertainers, it's not a lot of artists in the industry right now. And I keep having these long pauses <clears throat> because this is a very deep topic for me. There's a reason why I fell in love with music. It, it's a therapy for me. And in a lot of ways in chasing the pursuit of this music thing, I lost my original reasoning for why I started making music. It wasn't really for anybody else. It was for me to reflect on what I'm going through and be constructive with it. And then the secondary benefit would be if anybody could relate to it, then that's great. But first and foremost, my job is to observe and communicate through the art. That's my job. But y'all let me know what y'all think about what an artist's job is supposed to be. And if you agree, let me know in the comments. Let me know in the reviews. If you disagree, let me know in the comments. Let me know in the reviews. But at the risk of me rambling on too much, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut it right there. So let me know what you think. And thank you for tuning in to my hot take. My name is Lexi. Till next time. Peace. You disagree and then I doubt you ever knew one. So I'ma let you win. Sit back and take a pen. A reward one. Sugar lemon to your tea. A reward one. Will compliment your everything. So if you plant the seed and water it grows. But you never had a real love interest in dish.